So before I show this video, I want to remind you that I am not a professional painter or carpenter or anything like that. This is just something that I'm doing for fun and I didn't, um, I didn't purchase a lot of materials for it, but I hope you like the way it turns out. Um, if you have any questions about it, leave it in the comments below. Of course, I'll answer them. Thanks for watching. This is a dresser that we've had for years and years and years here at our house. Um, it's been in two of the boys' bedrooms. And what I want to do is I want to refinish it. I found a, um, a dresser at Ikea that I took a picture of, and I'm going to insert it here. And so I'm going to try to um, repaint this one in that style. It doesn't, um, it's not going to look exactly the same, I know, because of all these curves and stuff, but I'm going to um, try to mimic that ombre pattern. Now, to do this, I have um, several materials. I'm going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. I have a hammer here. Um, and I have some sandpaper that I'm going to try to use. And then I got some masks for while I'm sanding. I am using a, um, I, got a I had to buy a paint key. I thought I had one, but I didn't. Um, so I bought a paint key. This is just a cup that I'm going to use to mix up my paint. And then these are free from the store, the paint stirrer, so I'll use that as well. I got um, these paint brushes. I picked them up from the Dollar Tree, so I hope they work for what I need it to do. As far as paint, I've found some paint uh, that was here since we moved into the house. So I'm going to use, I have some of this primer. It's called Kills 2 primer that I'm going to use first. I have a little bit of white that I hope will help uh, mix the colors. I just don't know how much is in here. And then I have a uh, blue. Um, this blue is going to be the, the darkest color of the ombre. And then just in case I need to mix an even darker color, I have some black. So we'll see how that works out. Um, I also have some towels because first I have to um, clean this off. I anticipate this project is going to take two days, so I'll take one day um, and prime it, and then tomorrow hopefully I'll come back and paint it. My first step is going to be to take these drawers out and take off the all the hardware. And so I'm going to use my Phillips head screwdriver to unscrew these in the back, and then my hammer is going to take these nails out. Okay? So I'll do that, and then we'll come back and show you. I was able to get all of the hardware off and um, my next step is going to actually be to clean this off. There's some tape uh, residue from when we moved and we just taped the drawer shut. Um, so I need to clean that off. I have mixed some water with some, um, with some uh, all-purpose cleaner and hopefully that will help us get all these tape stains off before we start. Um, I went and got this um, spackling stuff because after I clean it off, I'm going to fill in these holes. I'm actually only going to keep this hole and this hole because when I put the new hardware on, these are the holes that I'm going to match. So um, all of these, the two sets in the middle and these extra ones on this one, they're going to go away. So I'm going to clean it off first and then um, fill the holes and then we'll see what the next step is. I have the holes filled in on the drawers. You can see that. And this spackle, it turns like either, it's either purple or pink when you apply it. And then when it dries, it's white. So I'm gonna set these to the side and turn my focus to the, um, the chest. And for this, I'm gonna go ahead and sand. I have um, some, I think 180 grit sandpaper and then some that's a little bit finer to just go over it. Um, the reason that I'm sanding it is to hopefully get a smooth, even surface to add the primer. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to do the, the drawers today because I, I didn't account for the spackle, but I'll try it later on this evening and see if it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and start sanding. Um, in order to sand, let me zoom out just a little bit. Nope. In order to sand, um, I did get some Masks, even though I'm only going to use this um, 
I'm just going to be using the sandpaper in my hands. I'm not using any kind of machine or anything. But just to kind of protect me from the little fine dust particles that are going to come off. So I got this, these things from um, Lowe's, and you just put them like over your head. So, well, let me see. Like that. And so hopefully I won't have too much dust. So I'll sand with these. I have 120 grits and 180 grits. Okay, so I'll start sanding first with this one, then with this one. So I'll show you what that looks like. It's day two of our um, chest of drawers project. Um, yesterday the battery died on the camera so I wasn't able to film all of it but so far what we've done is um, cleaned everything off we have sanded and primed um, both the drawers and the um, the big chest you can see that it's now white where it was kind of a, a, um, a beige um, now we are putting the um, we're changing where the um, where the drawer pulls were. So I want to I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod so I can show you what we're doing. This particular drawer already had the holes in the correct place. So we just measured those um, these holes. One of them got painted over, but it'll be fine once we get ready to put the pulls in. And then um, we you can see here. We, um, I just kind of measured them out with some tape measure and we marked them with an X. And so now what um, Cameron's going to do, my son, there he is, he's normally behind the camera, is he is going to use the awl, hold up the awl, and the hammer to make some holes. So we'll watch him do that on camera and then we'll put the drawer pulls on. Wait, let me go to the other side. Okay, so he's just holding it all in place, and it, he's holding it at the intersection because we made little X's, and he's going to double check, camera, wait, 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 double check, make sure it's right over the X, and hold it near the top, so I'm going to keep it steady. And we're not, he's not going real deep with these, because we're hoping that we'll be able to screw them in fairly easily. So let's see if I can get the hole that he made. I don't think I can, but let's see. You can see it real close, maybe. All right, and then um, he's going to do one more on this side. Next, we're going to get ready to put the uh, drawer pulls on. Here we have the um, <laughs> the drawers that we put the drawer pulls on. We just went with a natural wood drawer pull. It's going to blend in. They're eventually going to be painted the same color as the drawer. Um, Cameron is still putting the finishing touches. He's still putting the drawer pulls on the big drawer. Right now, I'm going to start um, mixing paint so that I can start painting one of these drawers. So I'll bring, get the paint over and then I'll show you how I do that. I'm getting ready to mix this paint. I will start by saying I'm not a professional paint mixer and I only have a teeny tiny idea what I'm actually supposed to be doing. So our plan is to go from top to bottom and do um, from light all the way down to dark. So I'm going to start um, mixing paint. I have a little bit of white here and a little bit of this um, light blue, but it dries darker. So like if you look here at the side of the can, it's going to dry a little bit darker. So I feel like each color that we come up with is going to finish a little bit darker than we start. So what I'm going to do is take this white and I'm, this is not a precise measuring cup at all. I'm just gonna fill it approximately 
to, I guess, just above these um, letters right here. And then I'm going to take spoonfuls of blue paint and add it in to make it darker gradually. So um, let me see. I'm going to go ahead and pour in here. Let's see. Let me turn my cup so I can kind of see where to stop. And I have to get two coats of paint out of this so that's why I'm kind of mixing so much because I need a lot or I mean I need enough for two coats. I think that if we put one coat on it'll dry fairly quickly but I have to put the second coat on before I can go to the next color. So I'm going to just stir my paint up. This is my blue. This is the, um, the paint stick that I got from Lowe's. This is a ruler that I had at my house. All right, and so I'm just going to take and put, let's start with one teaspoon or one plastic spoon full of blue paint. And just for fun, I'll do another one. So two spoonfuls and then stir it in in the white and see how light it gets. You can see it's already kind of changing colors. And I just want to get it as uniform as I can. And what I'm thinking is that it's going to dry darker. So even though what's going on is this super pale blue, I think it's going to dry a little bit darker. But in, in my example photo um, of the, the drawers, the top is really light. So this is like the lightest blue that I can come up with. So I'm going to go ahead and um, paint the top drawer and then I'm going to paint a couple of sections on the um, on the dresser in that um, dark blue I mean in this light blue and then we'll go to the next color. Okay so we finished our first color and while we're waiting to put the second color on we're going to do the second color. So I'm going to put so I'm going to fill up the white with 12 ounces then do five um, plastic spoons of blue. Yeah, I'm out for us. Yeah, turn it towards the camera. It's going to take a second to get really uniform, so. Yeah, it's, it's a little darker. It's kind of a Carolina blue. Oh, kind of a Carolina blue. Okay, well make sure you got all the blue off the sides. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and put this one on and hopefully the next the second coat will be or the first coat of the other one will be dry. It's getting kind of late. I've been working on this for man hours and hours. But I have all the drawers done. The um the top three don't seem to have that much contrast, but when you put it I think once they get on the um, in the chest, it'll it'll look better. There'll be more contrast, and I'm gonna have um, uh, two more. Well, the the top two, I've put three coats of paint on those, 
and the, the middle two, the third and fourth right here, they have three coats of paint they just have to dry. Thankfully, they're all drying a little bit darker. And then, um, then we have the bottom. I want to show you the dresser, the chest. Let's see if I can get closer to it. Um, so hopefully you can see, I just put another coat on. So um, you can't see really that much contrast, but maybe if I finish it tomorrow, you'll be able to see it. The top and the sides are all dark blue. They're the same color as the bottom. So I'm going to work on this uh, hopefully some more tomorrow, and then we'll get it finished. Here is the finished um, dresser. I really like the way it turned out. Um, you can see that it's kind of lighter going down to darker. There are a few things that I would have done differently though. The first thing is that before you even start anything, you need to number your drawers. This drawer is actually supposed to be the first drawer, but it didn't fit, so we had to um, swap it out. The color difference isn't too bad, but I, I'm pretty sure you can tell it on camera that these, are, these shades are a little bit different. Um, the other thing that we didn't do that I would have done differently was these little lips at the bottom of the drawers. We didn't paint those, and we should have. I don't know if it's obvious uh, that we didn't paint them from the camera view, but here I can tell it's obvious to me that it's not painted. And it would have given us just a much more uniform effect, more like our inspiration piece. And of course, instead of using greens like the inspiration piece had, we use blues, but I still love the way it turned out. Um, if you have any questions about this process, leave them in the comments below. Please thumbs up this video and share it with your friends. And um, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!